Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to cover late latching, which is a rendering technique which improves performance on the Oculus Quest, and it's part of the recommended settings by Oculus as well. The only issue with this is it's not actually accessible through the Epic Launcher. You need to use the Quest version from Source, or so their Git repository. I have a video on how to do that and download it from there, so I'll add it into the description. But this is an experimental feature, but I would highly recommend using it when you can. So to do so, what we need to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, and then we need to scroll down to Plugins and Oculus VR. Now, in here, you'll see that we actually have late latching, which the description here is enable late latching for reducing HMD and controller latency improve tracking prediction quality, multi-view and Vulkan has to be enabled. So you can see already that it's telling us that we're going to improve the controller latency, we're going to reduce HMD, uh, we're going to reduce HMD and controller latency, which means they're going to be faster to track, which means you can move around a little bit more and you don't have to worry about too much motion. Um, it's also going to require multi-view and Vulkan to be enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this one. If you followed along from my last videos where we set up Unreal for Quest development, I'll find it. Yep. Here's one I prepared earlier. So we've got optimizing UE4 and then how you can actually publish it to the Quest, which is super useful. I'll link this in the description. But um, in there, chances are we've already enabled the features that we need. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to rendering and we just need to look for multi-view. Uh, yep, there it is. So in rendering, we're going to scroll down to find VR. And then all you need to do is enable multi-view. This should run pretty well. And then what we need to do is actually go down to Android. And we need to make sure that we have Vulkan enabled. Right in the wrong place. Ah, I was already scrolled too far down. Okay. We gotta <laughs> we'll scroll the top. So if we scroll back down, you'll see here that I actually have support ARM64 enabled and support Vulkan. So we already have what we need to enable the feature. So I just want to do a shout out to a Discord channel that we have set up. So we recently set up a Discord channel just for the community and anyone in these like watching these videos who wants to join in or ask questions and get help with stuff. We've already got quite a few people in there and we're all everyone's chatting about. Yeah, hopefully that helped. Hopefully it'll increase your performance a little bit. But um, if you haven't already, I highly recommend subscribing and possibly liking this video just so it helps other people find it. I'd love to see what you've been working on or what it is you're trying to do with the quest. So yeah, maybe drop over to the Discord and let us know. I'll put a link in the description for it. Excellent. Bye.